Welcome back to Real Christianity with Rev Kev. As they say in our jungle village, yaki yaki. In looking at James chapter 2, he really talks about prejudice and this prejudicial treatment which was so common a couple thousand years ago where somebody would come into a church and they'd give the rich or nicely dressed or well-known person the nice seat and they would care for them and then people just straggled in, they looked kind of poor, they kind of put them off to the side. And we read that and they said, man, how could somebody who loved Jesus treat others like that? And that is wrong. We should not be prejudiced. Everybody's created in the image of God. We should treat them as special. Everyone is special. But when I look at that verse, I see many people doing that today. We have this idea of friendships that, well, it needs to be like transactional. I'll be their friend because they have something that I can get from them. And then they'll be my friend because they have something they can get from me. And we, we like friendships where we're, we're giving and getting and we really feel good about that. And then somebody else comes in and maybe they're, they're uh, think differently or disabled or poor. Maybe it's hard to understand them because of an accent. And so we kind of stay away. Well, I'm, I'm uncomfortable with them. That's it. That's the whole point. If you're uncomfortable with them, then you're, you're seeing them as, as different. You're ostracizing them a bit. The point of this passage that is don't give preferential treatment just because you're comfortable. You are to serve. There's nothing comfortable about Christ dying on a cross for us. If we are real Christians, we're following Jesus, we need to sacrifice that comfort, reach out and help people, even if we don't get anything, if we don't get the nice feels from that relationship, we still need to care about other people. And you really don't know what's going on in people's lives. You don't know their story. Just sit down and take the time to set aside your own prejudices or your own selfish desires for your time and listen to others. That's what this passage is about. Not just about giving the rich uh, a greater seat. It's about preferential treatment. That should strike home with all of us. Fortunately, Christ died for all of us and that makes a huge, huge difference. He didn't care if we were rich or poor or good or bad. He came to serve all. May that be a challenge for all of us. This has been Real Christianity with Rev Kev. Yaki Yaki.